Okay, so before I start this off, something needs to be said. Whenever I look up reviews for any weapon in Metal Gear Solid 5, the most popular videos do the same bullshit. Where they don't say anything, they have everything written on the screen, and I'm like, dude, if I want to read slash watch something, then I'll watch some subbed anime. Because you do that shit all the fucking time there. If you own an Elgato, which at best is $150, and you own a PS4 or any of the other next-gen consoles currently, then you most likely own a smartphone. And what you can do with that smartphone is you can record your voice, watch your video, and while you're watching your video, record your, your narration over it, import that narration, that audio file, that video file, whatever the fuck it is, import it into whatever program you're using to edit your videos, cut out the video, because you don't need the video, cut out the video, keep the audio only, and there you go. That's how you get audio in your videos because that's the shit that I used to do way before I own a headset and before you say that headsets are pretty expensive this is a cheap $20 headset that's been doing me pretty damn well this entire time so again if you own all of this expensive shit then there's no reason why you can't talk in your videos there's no way that anyone doesn't have the ability to record their own voice we're not here to read a weapon review I'm here to watch slash listen to a review there's a big difference there. <clears throat> so it would be nice to start seeing that more often because there are times where I just want to have the video play in the background and while I listen to someone talk about what the good and bad things about the weapon. And if they want to demonstrate something, then that's great. Then I'll go back and I'll look at it. But most of the time, I just want to work and listen to someone explain something to me. But if there's no narration whatsoever, then I'm forced to actually physically watch the entire video, which pisses me off. And I don't know if it bo bothers anyone else, but it does bother the hell out of me. And it does bother me that the most popular videos all do the same thing. So, what the fuck, people? I guarantee you that if you add narration to your videos, your production quality will go up a lot. Unless you have an annoying-ass voice, or you're a fucking kid, then there's no other reason why you can't add narration to your videos. And if you think that's too complicated to do, then you're an idiot. Because... It's not that fucking hard to plug in your phone, go into your phone's files, find the video, and use that audio from that video as your narration. And if you think it's too much work, why the fuck are you editing videos then? This shit is already a lot of work as it is. So, to be honest, recording a voice ain't that big of a deal. So, that's the end of that. Get your shit together. Hello everyone, this is GamePro24X, and today we're going to take a look at the Molotov 68 Anti-Material Rifle. You can get this weapon in the current event, Mosquitoes, of, Mosquitoes Legacy, for about 8,500 event points. After you have built this weapon, out of the box, it comes with a 3-step zoom, ranging from 2, 6, to 8 times zoom, which is pretty nice. It also comes with a 10-clip magazine, and 30 ammo in reserve. It also comes with a suppressor, and don't worry, the suppressor is the exact same one as the Brennan's, because they both take 15 shots until they're completely depleted. Now something interesting that should be noted about this weapon is that for some reason it can't destroy towers like the Brennan can. So I'm not sure if that is a bug, but yeah, it, it just can't destroy these really weak ass towers, even though it's a very heavy ass sniper rifle. So the weapon that we're going to be comparing this to is going to be the Brennan Grade 8, since I have that and I do not have the Grade 8 Serval version. And on top of that, both Brennan and Molotov are bolt action, so it would only be fair. Just look at the Serval as a better version of the Brennan, and we'll go from there. As you can see from the stats here, the Molotov rifle has a lot more damage than the Brennan could ever achieve. Except that both of them have very different costs. And we're going to see today if whether the Molotov's worth using or there's some benefit to it. 
So here's the Brendan Grade 8 stock right out of the box, none cost customized. It comes with the same clip. And as you can see right there, it was able to destroy that tower like it was nothing. However, the Molotov could not achieve that. Again, it could be a bug, but I'm not 100% sure. As I was saying, the Brennan Grade 8 comes with a comes with an ammo clip of 10 shots and 30 in reserve. And the suppressor will last you 15 shots until it's completely gone. All right, now for some field testing. So with the Molotov, you're able to completely kill an attack chopper with just two shots, which is pretty damn amazing. And right now we're going to be testing this Molotov on the tank that's right here as well. So with 8 shots, it was able to, to completely destroy this tank. Which I would say is probably the most toughest tank in the game. Not sure if the other ones are just as tough, but yeah. Pretty damn powerful rifle. Now we're going to do the same test again, but with the Brandon Grade 8. So the Brandon can also achieve the 2 shot kill with the attack chopper as well. And again, if you're using the Grade 8 Serval, it's going to be the same exact deal except it's semi-auto, meaning that you'll be able to fire off a lot more rounds much quicker. But with the Brennan, and I'm honestly surprised that that dude lived, seeing as how close it takes an additional shot to destroy that tank. Now we're going to test this on Metallic Archaea Extreme, which, if you all know this by now, all the all the skulls here are really, really tough. So the Molotov can easily destroy their entire armor with just one shot. Two body shots and they're dead. One headshot will practically leave them to a sliver of health, which you can easily just switch to a high-powered pistol and finish them off if you want. But again, it's going to be a two-shot killer no matter what. But I thought I'd add, it, add that in as a option for anyone who wants to try to run this against the skulls. So with the Grade A Brennan, you'll be able to do the same exact thing with their armor. You'll be able to strip them off completely with just one shot. Except when you hit them in the head, you practically get them down to, I would say, maybe 40% health, maybe 30. But yeah, you, you can see that there's a really big difference between damages between the two rifles. So it'll still be a two shot to the head and they're down. However, the body shots is a bit different story. If you were to attack a skull on this difficulty in the body, it will take you three shots to fully kill one. Or you can easily just go for one headshot and then follow it up with a body shot. That will also do the trick. So compared to the Molotov, you, there's only a one bullet difference. However, you should be aiming for the head no matter what. 
Here we are versing the Sniper Skulls, and I, I'm not going to verse against the Myth Skulls because it's going to be the same exact outcome because they're pretty damn weak as it is. So with the Molotov, if you were to aim at the body, you will get them down to about 20%. And the reason why that one died so easily is because I was able to shoot the Skull before she got up. Before she was able to jump away, I was able to quickly hit her one more time, which would finish her off. Sometimes it doesn't work. You see that? The into thin air. If you were to land a headshot with the Molotov, it's, it's an instant kill, no matter what. So this is pretty damn powerful against the Sniper Skulls if you ever want to try. You have to be exact in your timing when it comes to that. But yes, it is a really powerful rifle against these enemies. Now I probably should have brought my stealth camo, that way I can actually properly aim for their weak spots without having to worry about them shooting at me. But it is still the same thing. You will see in the Brennan test these similar results as well. And there you go. See? One shot to the head, bitch is down. So, pretty damn powerful. Here we are with the Brennan Grade 8. I'm trying to get a good mark on the skull to see how far away she is. She's about 100 meters away. And there you go. Same exact situation where you can just hit them in the head and they're done. If you hit them in the body, it's still two shots and they're dead. And like I said, if you time it correctly, you, you can land a second shot as they're getting up to get that kill. Now onto the FOBs. So currently I have a grade 8 battle dress for all of my staff here. And let me tell you, that thing ain't shit compared to the fucking Molotov. Holy shit. This thing will kill anyone, no matter where you shoot them, whether it be the arm, leg, it will kill them. <laughs> so you can really rely on this weapon if you want to just run through and just kill people as you're trying to get to the core. I would say the only downside to its power is the fact that you can't aim for the weak, for the legs and such and incapacitate people. So here we are with the grade 8 Serval, or sorry, Brennan, and as you can see it takes two shots to kill a grade 8 battle dress than it was with the Molotov. Both the Brennan and the Molotov have the same exact penetration. You can you can hit multiple people at once if they're in a straight line. I just it's very hard to get that kind of situation. If you were to aim for the leg, you won't kill them, but you'll put them in an incapacitated state or a type of bleed out state where they can still, you know, they're still alive and they're wiggling around. And in this demonstration, someone was actually shooting at me, which caught me off guard a little bit. But yeah, see, there he is right there just shooting at me. So the one benefit to using the Serval or the Brennan is that if you're running through, you can easily just stop them from looking at you with by shooting them in the the leg and you can buy yourself some time but if you don't care about that and you just want to get the kill if you happen to get spotted then by all means use the molotov so because i do not own the grade 9 battle dress i cannot test it with this weapon however when i do finally build those suits i will make a suit review uh, i guess is what you will call it and you'll get your answer there to see how well it does against a molotov rifle but for now, I can just tell you for sure that with the Molotov, you will be able to just to destroy anything from grade up, grade eight and down. 
As for the Brennan, it's not exactly a bad choice either. There's only a one-shot difference. And like I said before, there are some people who like to use the incapacitate tactic to their advantage and save themselves some extra shots by doing that. So really, there's not much difference between the Brennan or the, the, the Brennan slash Serval when it comes to the Molotov. However, the prices is what, ver is what differs greatly. And the precious metals are something that's not exactly easy to come by. Unless you're rating an FLB that you absolutely know you'll gain back what you have spent using that rifle, then by all means, go ahead. Or if you're rating low-level FOBs, then I would say don't even try it. <laughs> you might end up getting yourself in a deficit sooner than you know it. Still, though, pretty damn powerful rifle. I, d I didn't expect anything less from it. Uh, it's just a shame that it has a very high precious metal requirement to use it every single time. So there you go. That is the Molotov review. I hope all of you guys were able to get it this time around. I do not know when it will come back again. And like I said, this is the first time it was ever released to us out of the other two event weapons. So get it while you can. The event is still up. It'll last one more week. And then after that, we'll see what comes up next. Anyways, I hope you guys found this guide pretty helpful. This is Game for 24X, and I'll see you guys later.